Hello, this is Rob here from robcabin.com and today we're going to be talking about blogging. Blogging is a subject very close to my heart because if I didn't start blogging in 2006, I wouldn't have my own business now. I wouldn't be here sitting talking to you at all because I wouldn't have the confidence to create courses and videos on YouTube and all sorts of things like this. Blogging has taught me everything. Blogging's got me literally hundreds of clients and hundreds and thousands of dollars of profit to my business. I've been able to build up a following. I've been able to write Kindle books. I have been lucky enough to get the people who follow me to promote my products. What could be better than that? And apart from anything else, I've always quite enjoyed it because I enjoy writing good articles that help people and every so often I get a very nice email saying thank you very much for that article, it was great, it's really helped me. Or sometimes I even get emails from people saying I've set up a new business because of you and that is just amazing. I can't really say how I feel about that because if I stopped and thought about it I'd probably go crazy. But blogging is very important so that's what we're talking about in this video. If you get really into blogging and you, yeah. you, you talk about NLP, nutrition, uh, meditation uh, in a very interesting way, of course, there's lots of competition. However, yeah. you might find that you attract people via your blog through Google as well. Okay. Because yeah. it, it's more, it will be more lo what they call long tail. So maybe you will write a blog post about meditation in London and a bit about nutrition so that's yeah you know if you just talk about med meditation it's a bit too general but yeah if you go more specific about it sure then, okay then then the blog can be very good for uh attracting traffic um yeah so yeah, so, yeah. amazing well I I know see these tips are all wonderful because you know I, I wouldn't have known this. I could have just written any old article or whatever about meditation, but, you know, without knowing that it's good to have like a, you know, specificity there. But I would advise every business person once a week at least to write a blog post. Why? Because it starts to create authority and authority and a following is what you need online these days. If you talk about what you know and specifically the little details that you find important in your job then you will get targeted traffic and you will start to build relationships with other people in your niche that will help you later blogging is not a quick fix it's a long-term game so you have to play it this week next week and months and months into the future before you will see any results. That's why not enough people do it, because they don't see instant results. But if you stick to it, you will see results within a year. And these results will benefit you for years to come. I really can't stress how important it is to keep blogging. But I hope you enjoyed that, a little introduction into blogging. This has been Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye.